This girl had an accident in her crate early this morning, so she got cleaned up, crate got cleaned up, and I'm coming inside having some breakfast and some tea, and she's hanging out on a place outside all by herself, not whining, and it's just fantastic because when she came here um, five and a half days ago, she wouldn't be doing this. She'd be out there whining and pacing, and now she's learning at five and a half months to chill out until she's told otherwise. And I think I'm going to let this run, and you can watch her do her thing. You'll probably get to see her make some choices, ups and downs, and I'm inside with the e-collar at about a four, pretty darn low level, and I can um, nope loud enough from in here she'd hear it, but she can't necessarily see me. So I'm letting her make a choice here. This is when a dog, like they wiggle around, they're like, oh, I guess my time's over. I'm standing up, nobody's saying anything. Let's see what choice she makes. She's thinking. Ah, oh, good girl, I'm gonna go give her a treat. So I opened the door and said, good. And I gave her the treat. Good choice she made. At this point, I'm going to increase her distractions on place. So when you teach a dog a command, you want to work on duration, which is what she's doing, hanging out there. Distance from her, which she's all by herself. She might see my movement every now and then in the window. And then distraction. So I am going to let Tayoga out. So the three Ds, duration, distance, and distraction. You start with little bits of these at first. Oh, watch her, see what she does. Little bits of these at first. I'm gonna say nope, maybe. Nope, I didn't have to do it, she did it herself. Little bits of those at first to set him up for success and then you increase the duration time, the distance from her, and you up the distraction. So here we go, I'm gonna let him out. She's gonna hear the front door, time to come. I'm going to hear the front door slam, and so will you. I'm going to tell Taya to go around. From about, I didn't even, I don't even think I got in the frame, maybe my foot, and I told her place, and she went back over there. Now Tayoga's still standing at the door, right there, and she's just stood up, or sat up, and she put herself back down. So she's doing really well. I want you guys to know this. She's not even six months old. Oh, and now Tayoga just had a bark. Bark. Let's see what she does. I might nope her in a second. There might be somebody coming up on her road, but she's making all those choices on her own. Good work. She's also looking at Tayoga. What should I do, guy? You can see her looking to him like, what do I do? There he goes. You can see he's kind of alert. He's like somebody's on the road, which is down there. 